guys, I'm Constigo and today I'm going to be showing you how I did this really cute full orangey white freckles <laughs> makeup look. Um, also, if you want to know how I did my hair, then check out my TikTok, it's Constigo Fashion. But if you want a more in-depth tutorial about how I did my hair, then I will do one for YouTube. But I just want to know if people are interested before I go and make it because it's... It's a lengthy process and I don't do it very often because it's slightly uncomfortable <laughs> to sleep in because it is overnight, it's heatless. So yeah, if you want to know about that, then please ask away. I'm actually considering going to the hairdressers as soon as I can afford it and getting my hair permed like this because I'm just so in love with it. It gives me such a confidence boost. I think it's just so cute. So yeah, if you want to know how this happens or have any comments about it, then please comment them below. And let's get into the video. So as usual, I'm starting with my Incredi brow and I'm gonna stick up my brows so they are gelled into place. And then I'm gonna use a spoolie to make sure that they are neat and not just kind of mushed together. And then I'm gonna go and define them with a brow stick. I'm then using a Smart Radiance Cream by Kiko Milano and this just gives a really dewy glow to the skin before you put anything on. And it's a really good primer. I'm then just going to put some Ultra Balm from Lush on my lips because they're always dry and this means that they should be nice and ready and prepped for when I do lip gloss at the end. I swear every look I do I have to use tape because I'm just so messy and this keeps everything neat. I really wanted to use my Orangey Glad palette but I didn't have it with me because I'm at my parents house so I'm using my Morphe James Charles palette instead. This was like really cheap because they wanted to get rid of them all after all the drama happened. <laughs> I'm using the orange shade because I want it to be a very orangey look and I'm just starting by putting that like really packing it into my crease and it looked a little bit on the redder side for some reason so I do go in and add a little bit of yellow to that and a bit more orange just to try and give it a bit more of an orangey look and then after that I darken it um, just on that outer corner with some brown eyeshadow. It's a very reddish brown colour and then I also put some gold on the lid. Again, I would have loved to have done like a more orangey shimmer on the lid but that just wasn't an option because I have limited resources this year. And then using this brown eyeliner pencil which broke, no surprise it's from Shein but it's actually really good like it's really creamy and it goes on really well. I tend to use it usually to do freckles but today I'm using it as an eyeliner. Then using my favorite liquid eyeliner ever, the Make It Big Morphe eyeliner, and I'm just putting that ever so slightly at the end just to make a little flick because the brown wasn't quite cutting it, but not going all out with this. Once I'd removed the tape, I just added a little bit of orange under the eyes as well. I very rarely use foundation, so just using a bit of concealer, once I've applied it, I like to move it around with a brush and then I spray my face with some setting spray and pat it in with a beauty blender just to make sure that it's really into all of the creases of my face. I'm then just gonna use my Tarte Contour Palette. This has a really good shade here, which is pretty much perfect for my skin tone and I'm using that just to set the concealer. I'm then going back into this palette and I'm gonna do some blush, but I'm using the orange shade to do my blush. And I'm just gonna go straight across my nose, my cheeks, right up to the cheekbone, just straight across there. I'm then using a darker orangey brown colour to do my contour. I found out from this that apparently eyeshadow does not blend as nicely as contour powder does. Or maybe it's just this palette, but yeah. And then just using the lightest shimmer shade that was in that palette to do some highlight. Then using this palette, which I use in literally every video, to do the highlight that goes on my cheek. So next we've got to prime our lashes for the mascara, so I do that with a little lash curler and I hold that for 10 seconds and then I'm applying my lash primer. Whilst that's drying, I'm just going to do my lip gloss. This is a Clinique one, I literally don't know the shade name, don't know what it is at all. Yep. It's gloss. Now my favourite part is using this white liquid liner from Kiko Milano to add some white freckles over that orange blush. I'm so excited for it. I feel like mascara is always the finishing piece to any makeup look. It just makes the makeup complete. So going in with my Make It Big Morphe mascara, which I am running out of and need to get more of. And that is the final product when it comes to the makeup at least, but you've seen the hair. <laughs> 
hope you like it so that is how i did my makeup today i really hope that you enjoyed this video and i hope that you can stick around by subscribing to my channel if you want to see more videos like this and also please comment your suggestions below on different ideas that i can use for this channel um i really want to get back into doing makeup and fashion kind of videos and i also really want to start doing vlogs as well i just have no idea what to do them on so please give me some suggestions below and i'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!